Leo, and welcome to Coleman Tarot. My name is H.E. Coleman, and this is the tenth time I'm trying to do this for you. This is your month for August. Two of the times I had to turn the air conditioner on. Usually I don't put the air conditioner on, but um, today I have to because it's about 110 degrees, and I couldn't breathe through the last two times I tried to do this, and then after that I did, I did a full reading, and then I found out that the camera had turned off halfway through. I don't know. That's never happened before. <clears throat> so, the other times, stuff just kept happening. So, this is going to be your, hopefully, final reading for August. Okay? Here we go. All right. Let's see. This is going to be Leo for August. And... The sun is going down, so I'm trying to do these before the sun goes down. Leo for August. There we go. That's going to be the one I can already tell. Okay, Leo, here we go. <clears throat> we have the Hierophant. We have the Chariot. <laughs> we have the Five of Pentacles. These are all the same cards I had last time. Two of Swords. These are all the same. Queen of Wands. The Nine of Swords. The Princess of Cups. And the Five of Cups. Okay. And this is what's hidden from you. These are all the same cards that you had in the reading that I just lost. So that's awesome. Okay. Here we have the Hierophant. This is about your beliefs. This is about um, learning a life lesson. And it can also be about you or someone else teaching that lesson. And it can be about a mentor. Now, in this case, I would say this is about you learning a life lesson. That's the feeling I'm getting, that you're going to be learning something very important this month that you can then use for the rest of your life. Okay? Here we have the chariot. This is about fast progress. Excellent. This is what you had before, so that's great. You're going to be making some fast progress this month in whatever it is that you're trying to do, whether it's a relationship or whether it is a job or whether it is a goal that you have, you're going to be making some fast progress, okay? And this is telling me also the horses are your conscious and your subconscious. So you, in order to make fast progress, you have to get those together. You have to um, be working towards something that you care about, that you're passionate about, um, and you also have to... You can't just want something, you have to work towards it as well. So it's 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 taking action and having your your heart and your thoughts in the right place at the same time if you want to go forward really quickly. Over here we have the Five of Pentacles. And this is a card about feeling like you don't have enough of something. And it's also a card about um, feeling like you're hard done by. Feeling like something's come along that is, there's a lot of rain there in this particular deck. So this is like something that has rained on your parade, something that's happened and you're just saying, oh, why me? You know, why is this happening to me? And it's usually, that's usually a life lesson. Usually whenever this happens, it's a life lesson because you're supposed to learn something from that. You're supposed to learn who is there for you and you're supposed to learn that some people in the world um, are not having a great time right now and this is to help you to have compassion for others who are worse off than you, okay? That is part of your life lesson. <clears throat> now over here we have the Two of Swords in the middle of your reading. The Two of Swords is about having intelligence and wanting to take action, but you can't do anything at the moment. You're kind of stuck there in limbo because you, um, you're there for a reason. You're there to see certain things, and it's also because you need to have more, more facts before you can move forward. Now, you do have the Chariot. This is about moving forward. So this card is saying that some at some point in the month you're going to be stuck and you're going to say what do i do i don't know how to move forward i don't know what to do and then you're going to find the solution and you're going to just charge forward or for some of you it can be that you're charging forward and then all of a sudden you get a roadblock okay it's going to be one or the other it's different things for different people but for most of you i think you're going to be um stuck at some point and then you're going to suddenly charge forward okay then over here we have the queen of wands and this is about being very confident with whatever it is that you care about. The wand there represents her idea or her passion. And the queen is about confidence and being very sure of yourself. Okay, and that might have to do with the chariot where you're feeling like, oh, I can really do this thing. It's awesome. And you charge forward. Okay. Now over here, we have the, um, and I want to say something as well. The cat there is giving her advice. Okay, the cat is advising her. So that also can be having to do with the Hierophant, where someone can be mentoring you or someone can be advising you and teaching you um, 
how to be confident and what you have to be confident about. They can be telling you, oh, you have great strength and blah, blah, blah. And they say, really? And then you just move forward. Okay, the other thing you have here is the Nine of Swords. This is about being afraid. Now, this girl, you can see, she's afraid of, like, the boogeyman. She's afraid of this monster. And usually the monsters are not real. I can't say monsters are never real because we all know there's a lot of creepy stuff in the world. But at the same time, most of the time it's just in your mind. Most of the time it's your own fear that's stopping you. And if you turn around and you face that fear then you'll realize it's not as bad as you think it is, and you'll realize that you have it in you. You have the power to overcome this stuff, okay? Here you have the fear, and here you have the stalemate situation with the swords. So I really feel like your fear is stopping you, or I feel like the, the fact that this happens, like something is a bummer, and then you say, well, that's it. I can't go forward. I'll never be able to go forward because I don't have this person's support, or I don't have... Um, the car broke down, so now I can never go forward. I can never move on with my life or, you know, whatever happens, whatever this thing is. It's not just happening so you can have a bad day. It's happening so that you'll learn a life lesson about overcoming fear. All right? <coughs> whether that's fear financially or whether it's fear of, like, something going wrong or whether it's fear of just not being loved or something, you're, it's happening so that you can overcome it. Okay? It's just, a, it's just a challenge. Your obstacle is the Princess of Cups. This is about good news of an emotional nature. So you're waiting for someone to give you the permission to move forward, or you're waiting for somebody to tell you, yes, you must move forward now, or yes, here's some good luck so you can move forward. But you don't need this, okay? You have to be confident in yourself to move forward. You can't wait for someone else. You can, I mean, it's good to have a mentor situation there, but you also can't just depend on somebody else to give you a cup of emotion. You have to fill your own cup, okay? Now, your outcome, <clears throat> that was your obstacle. Here's your outcome, the Five of Cups. Now, the Five of Cups is about somebody who is upset, really upset. Like, look at this girl. She's really upset that her cups are spilled, and she's saying, why, 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 this is a disaster, okay? Just like this. Why, why, why does the rain have to come? We don't like the rain. We don't want rain. Well, the rain comes because other people or plants need the water. So even if it sucks for you that's raining, at the same time, other people need that because we're all connected, okay? So maybe your cup is spilt because somebody else needs that cup, all right? Or somebody else needs to win or somebody else wants that partner. But at the same time, you have two cups right behind you, all right? There's two cups right there, but this person is saying, you know, why? I can't believe this is terrible. They can't see the cups that are behind them. If she would just stop crying over these cups, she'll see there's two right there, okay? As an outcome, what this is telling me is that you're going to be, if something, if you feel like you don't have enough of something this month, you're going to focus on that rather than a solution, okay? Rather than just turning around and seeing there's something else right there. So if you get to a point where you say to yourself this month, oh, my car broke down, or oh, I can't get this apartment that I wanted, or oh, I can't, um, this person doesn't want to date me right now. I want you to turn around and see what else is in your life that's right behind you, okay? Because there's something else right there. And you don't want to let fear stop you from getting the stuff that you want. Especially you don't want to let self-doubt stop you. Because here, you have the possibility to be the queen. If you take it, if you want it, you can take it. You can be the queen. Or you can be the peasants in the rain. Okay? This is You're the same person. You can be the queen or you can be the peasant in the rain. Alright? Now, over here, don't forget you have the fast progress above the queen. So if you decide to be confident and face your fears, then you can have the fast progress. All right? Oh, the stuff that's hidden from you. The Ten of Pentacles, which is about money coming your way. That's what's hidden from you. The Ten of Swords, which is about um, getting something out of your life. Here you have the Nine of Swords where you're scared of the boogeyman. Here you have the Ten of Swords where you've conquered the boogeyman. All right? You've conquered something. You've cut something out and you're in control. Okay, and then we have the last thing that's hidden from you is the Four of Swords. And this is about um, stopping to look at the big picture and saying, what do I want to accomplish? Okay, that's what I want you to do when you have this. And that's what I want you to do when you have this. All of the swords. Okay, the swords are about intelligence and taking action. So here we have a bunch of swords that are in your mind that are hurting you. Here you have using the swords to overcome something that's bothering you. Here you don't know what to do with your swords, and here you have 
you're putting the swords there and you're saying, I'm not going to take action until I think about it. That's why all of her swords are down. She's got the sword, and there's three behind her, and she's saying, I don't want to use these until I know what I want to do with them. So once you stop and think about it and plan what you want to do, then you use your swords and then you overcome the, then you overcome this, okay? Then you overcome your fear. All right, so that's the stuff that's hidden from you. Now I'm going to get you your spiritual card for the month. Now your outcome is the five of cups, but that doesn't mean that you have to focus on the three that are on the, that are on the ground. You can choose to focus on the two that are behind you. Your outcome is the novice, which is the same outcome that you had before and the one that didn't record. It's the exact same one that you got. The novice, it says here, innocence, beginner, and ignorance. New skill without practice. That is you starting off on something new, and that also is you overcoming your fear because you're new at something and you might not be perfect at it, but here you have the confidence of a queen, okay, or a king. So you can be charging forward. And be careful also when you're charging forward that you don't <clears throat> charge forward and be too cocky because you are new at something. All right, you are new at something. So I want you to be wise and I want you to plan it out. Like I said before, I want you to really think out your steps. And even though you're new, you can still get some advice. You can still have the Hierophant card where you can get some advice from people and plan out what you want to do. And then once you know what you're going to do, then you can charge forward with your chariot. Okay, because you don't want to charge in there and say, this is, my, this is what I'm going to do. But then your people are like, well, you don't really know what you're doing yet. So I don't think you should be charging in telling us all what to do. But if you get if you get a mentor and you, you do some research and you find out what other people, you know, you find out um, if you really have take a look at the big picture and find out how things are going to go down the road, then you can know what to do. Your uh, fate card is the dagger. It says, danger and conflict lie in wait. And that is about not just charging in, okay? Not just charging in. And then it's also about um, if something, if you feel like you, like it's raining at some point, which would be great in California right now, but if you feel like at some point, like, oh, something's a bummer and uh, this thing didn't work out that I wanted, just remember that there's better things behind you that you, that you can't see. And also remember not to go charging in on anything until you plan out what you want to do, okay? This is very, very important for you to plan out what goals you have and what you want to accomplish before you go charging in. And then you'll be fine because you'll have a plan, okay? And you have a lot of swords here, so it's a lot about you being smart this month, okay? Have a good month.